a heavyweight collision between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Stipe Miocic. While he still holds the record for most consecutive UFC heavyweight title defenses, the former champion Stipe Miocic back looking to add to what is an outstanding legacy here tonight. Stipe Miocic is one of those guys that can do everything in the octagon. He was a wrestler at Cleveland State University, also a Golden Gloves boxer. He's one of the people that the new era of mixed martial arts is going to welcome to the octagon. They can do it all from the very beginning. That led Stipe to becoming the heavyweight champ that's defended the belt the most times. And imagine if he wasn't fighting fires all day, how good he'd be. <laughs> Jeez, Stipe Miocic with a victim's list that includes the likes of Francis Ngannou, Junior Dos Santos, Alistair Overeem, looking to reel in another big one here tonight. Well, even dating to his time on The Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015, you got the sense very early on that Kamar Usman could be something special, as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a pace and pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Woodley fight. And because his wrestling is so smothering, as he showed in the Marais fight, his striking opportunities opened themselves up. Kamaru Usman, as you say, J.A., is a real problem for anybody at 107. And he's a loyalist. He has been true to his coaches, Henry Hoof, Greg Jones, and everybody else. Kamaru Usman has realized the dream, and he'll try to take it to the next level here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miocic is four years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Tis the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Stipe Miocic. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. I know you have said to anyone within earshot, if you like grappling, this is the matchup for you. This is the matchup for you. You may as well be in a gymnasium somewhere watching a jiu-jitsu right, or a right. combat sambo competition because these guys are trying to both get the fight to the floor and they're trying to get bragging rights because no one has the accomplishments of these two in the grappling realm. So if one of them can secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling world. And of course, if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next fight. Yes. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. And both fighters exchange elbows, and they're enjoying it. Big knee lands to the body. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Back to the feet. Now goes 
in and secures the takedown. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Left punch is good. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice hammer fist. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Go. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for That's Kamaru. That's a scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Miacic. All right, single collar tie now. Miacic has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. And they separate. Miacic gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. He's having his way with him here. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, hammer fist here by Usman. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Usman. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Round two is next. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Round two now. Kamaru Usman. You ready? And on the other side, Stipe Miocic. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. 
Great job. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do. Oh, there, hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the tip without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the court? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Usman. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. On, let's go, let's go. Miocic's pass is denied. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kamaru Ush. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Usman. Relentless pressure from the top by Miocic. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Miocic's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Miacic is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Usman. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Final minute. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. The ground and pound has been there all night. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds to go, round two. I mean, how many can he take? Able to land the single ground strike there. Excellent job last round. Really like the ground control. This round, we want to do the exact same. All 
right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants okay, to continue to make you work you the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in that. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the heavyweight Miocic. Ground and pound strike is true. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Miocic gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, we pull up the unofficial numbers here, and how about that, 153 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman and landing with 78% accuracy tonight against Stipe Miocic. Big punch from the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Nice punch by Usman. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the more tie plot. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Kick to the body by the heavyweight Miocic. Nice strike. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward. Wow. Take down. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Just over two minutes now to go. Usman's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. The referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie punch. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Takedown defense holds up. right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Miocic's elbow here is blocked. Nice job defensively there. 30 seconds to go. 
single collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Enters in on the double leg. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Let's go, fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mijic gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Strong outside leg kick. And they separate. Oh, that's a good strike there by Houston. Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Short elbows, short elbows. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. I mean, how many can he take? Let's go, move those hips and get up. I need you to move the screen. Escape. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick lands. He's back. That was how you scramble, folks. All right, he oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, make good 
use of his side. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. 30 seconds now to go on the round. <laughs> what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Miocic. Split the guard beautifully there. 10 seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Final round, you ready? Fifth and final round. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stipe Miocic. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.